Hi friends! Today we're going to be going over my most anticipated releases for 2021. <laughs> about 14 books that I want to go over with you that are my most anticipated releases for 2021. I'm sure there will be more um, on the back half of the year but these are the ones that I know about right now. Also dates can change at any moment as we learned last year. Um, dates changed a lot so any of these dates may change but this is the date that I have currently so I'm just going with what I have. These are not in any particular order. They're not by date. They're not by priority of which one I want to read. They just are in the order that they were in my brain and this is what we get. So the first is Chain of Iron by Cassie Clare. It is the second book in the Last Hours trilogy and that book will be coming out on March 2nd and that is part of the overarching Shadowhunter series and you're here on YouTube so I'm sure that you already know what that series is about. Next is Witch Shadow by Susan Dennard and that is expected to come out June 22nd. That is the fourth book in the Witchland series. It is not the final book. They haven't said how many books are going to be in the series yet. I think it's going to be five, but I don't know for sure. But this is going to be book four, and I'm very excited for it. This book is going to follow Isult, and I have been waiting for this book for a long time, as has everyone else, and I'm super excited for it. Next is Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is the third and I think the final book in the Brown Sisters trilogy. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a trilogy, but sometimes, who knows, they may end up with a fourth sister they never knew about. This book comes out March 9th, and I have read and enjoyed both of the books prior, so I'm really excited for this one as well. Next is Namesake by Adrienne Young. That should be releasing March 16th. It is the follow-up to Fable, which came out late last year super excited for it. Wish I had an arc for it. I'm not bitter about it at all. I'm a little bitter about it. It's fine. Uh, next is House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. This one is expected to come out April 21st and it is I'm assuming a standalone as Crystal's other books have been standalones. They are two of my favorite books of all time. So my definitive list of Worst Nightmares and our Chemical Hearts, which was made into a movie last year, Chemical Hearts, on Amazon, I believe. Don't really know what it's about other than it follows a group of sisters, and I'm sure it will have some kind of magical element to the contemporary as her books usually do. Next is The Box in the Woods by Maureen Johnson. This book is expected to come out June 15th, and this is the fourth book in the Truly Devious series, which previously we were told was a trilogy. So, again, sometimes you just don't know what's going to happen publishing does what it wants. We then have 10 Truths and Adara by Ashley Elston. This says that it's coming out May 4th but I don't know because there hasn't been a cover release yet, at least not that I've seen. And most things that are coming out for the first half of next year already have a cover so I don't know if that's actually still happening but that's the information that I have available to me. It is a follow-up to 10 Blind Dates which was my favorite read of 2019 so super excited for that. We then have Blood Like Magic by Lizelle Sanberry. Lizelle is a fellow author tuber and I will link her in the description box below as well in the cards if you would like to check her out. And her book should be releasing June 15th of this year. I'm very excited about it because I love Lizelle and it sounds like it's going to be awesome. We then have Lost in the Never Woods by Aiden Thomas and that is expected to come out March 23rd and I read Aiden's debut last year, Cemetery Boys, and really enjoyed it, so I'm looking forward to the next book as well. Let me rephrase, it's not a sequel, it's just another book. Then have The Survivors by Jane Harper. In the US it's supposed to come out February 2nd, it has already released in Australia, which is Jane's native homeland, and I read all of Jane's other books last year and really enjoyed them, so so I'm looking forward to The Survivors as well. We're gonna have Casadora by Romina Garber. This is the sequel to Lobizona, which came out last year that I enjoyed. This is expected to come out August 17th. Enjoyed the first book. Excited to read the second. We then have Lore by Alexandra Bracken, which is expected to come out January 5th. I doubt that it got pushed back, as you're probably watching this after January 5th. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. I haven't read any Alexandra Bracken before, but I know that this is like a Medusa retelling of some sort or another, I'm assuming. I could be wrong. I don't know. It's Greek mythology. I'm here for it. We next have Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas, which comes out January 12th, which may also be out by the time this video goes up because I'm not really sure where this is going to fall in the beginning of the year videos. Concrete Rose is a prequel to The Hate You Give and it follows Star's father. So 
I've really loved Angie's writing in the past. Super excited to read that. And then the final book on this list is A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. This is expected to come out February 23rd. Don't know a whole lot about it. Haven't read from Ashley before, but the cover was really pretty and it sounded like something that I would enjoy. So I will link all of these books on Goodreads down below if you want to read any full synopses. I prefer to not know everything in the synopses because I have learned over the years that um, with a synopsis you actually kind of learn a lot of the plot. So um, I, I tend not to read a lot of them, especially for books that I'm highly anticipating. Um, I just kind of go off of the buzz of what other people are saying uh, as far as like people that I, reviewers that I trust and know and um, books that are part of the series that I've already read and enjoyed. So um, if you want any full information on like full synopses, I will link those in the description box below for you so they're easy for you to peruse. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos a couple of times a week so if you don't want to miss anything I have in the future make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below and until then I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>